solve these simultaneous equations that I've got here, okay, in question three. Um, so if we call these equations one and two, all right, so solving simultaneously, that means, of course, then simultaneously they're going to have the same x and y value that satisfy both equations. So they've got the same y value, okay, the y values are the same, that means these two um, expressions here are going to equal the same value. So that means then we can say, look, x squared minus x minus 7, that's equal to y, of course. Um, whatever that, whatever y is, it'll be the same for 2x plus 3 as well, okay? Um, so we can say those two expressions are equal. Get them onto one side. So we've got x squared minus x minus 7. Take away 2x, take away 3 equals 0. Put the x's together. So get minus 3x, put the numbers together, get minus 10. So we then need... Uh, when we factorise this to solve, we need two numbers that multiply to give minus 10. Multiply to give that number and add up to give this number here. Um, so our two numbers, if you think about well, 5 and 2, yeah? That multiplies to give 10, doesn't it? 5 and 2. And I can get them to add up to give minus 3 if I make that a minus 5 and that a plus 2. Minus 5 plus 2 adds up to minus 3, and they multiply here to give minus 10. So minus 5 plus 2, that works. So then we say, look, either x minus 5 is equal to 0, or x plus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 5, or x is equal to minus 2. Okay, so I'm going to sub this then. Equation 2, obviously, is much easier. Sub in 2. So when x equals 5... Um, y will equal 2 times 5 plus 3, which is equal to 13. And when x equals minus 2, y will equal to 2 times minus 2 plus 3, which um, comes out to be minus 1, of course. Okay, so we've got two points, which means, okay, two coordinates rather, two coordinates, which means essentially this line intersects, okay, because remember I said before, previous question, um, if we've got two coordinates, that means the line intersects the curve. And when it intersects the curve, it will intersect it again because it sort of goes in and then comes out. So there's two points here. So we've got our first point here, 5, 13, and the other coordinate here, minus 2, minus 1. So we can literally say um, the, the curve and line. So when it says give a geometrical interpretation, we just simply say the curve and line intersect at the two coordinates there, 5, 13, and minus 2, minus 1. Okay, so that's your geometrical interpretation.